Sorry. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, we'll start roll call. Uh, Chairman Weggy? Here. Alderman Gould? Here. Alderman Lockmiller? Here. Alderman Tice? Alderwoman Tice? Not yet. Hey, Kelly, will you keep an eye out for her when she comes in and, and note that? I will. Thank you. We have a quorum. All right, move on to uh, approval and amendment of the agenda. Uh, assume it's good to approve by acclamation. Yes. Uh, move on to reports of committee chair and alderman. Uh, instead of going through everybody, I guess just uh, if anybody needs to say anything, speak up. And I, again, I can't see anybody just because the way my Zoom is working, but. Okay, I assume that we don't have any uh, reports. Uh, nope. Did I miss citizen comment? Sorry, I did miss some. Kelly, I assume there's no citizen. No done. citizen comments. Okay, sorry about that. All right, new business, sanitation trucks. Dan, you're up. Yep. Uh, there's two different items, but they're both related. One's the uh, purchase of the vehicle, and the second is the financing of the vehicle. So they're both related. Um, in your packet, you'll see there's a proposal for a, uh, it's actually a 2020 trash truck. It's cheaper than the 21, and it's on the lot. <coughs> it would be similar uh, to everything that Sanitation Truck has, uh, Sanitation Truck 2 has, I should say. As far as the hopper, it's the same size, you know, about 25 cubic yards. It's got two tippers on the rear, um, so it's $212,000. And it is budgeted uh, across three budget cycles. So in your uh, approved or adopted budget book, you'll see $86,250 appear three times. So the total is $258,750 is the threshold that we put in there. And this is coming below that threshold at 212. And then just put in perspective, I looked up uh, this morning Back in uh, 2016, the last truck we purchased is a 2016 uh, Mack truck. It's truck number four. That was $208,825 with key equipment, so roughly 209. So this is a really good deal for this particular truck at 212. You know, four years later, it's only about $3,000 more. Uh, the current truck two has over 101,000 miles and tens of thousands of hours uh, in idle time. So looking to uh, replace that truck as one motion. And regarding the financing, uh, there were two different ways we could finance it uh, for the lease. One was through the actual vendor, through Elliott, and that's their uh, particular firm, which is Balboa Capital at 7.5% 7 interest. And that was for a three year uh, renewal, or lease rather. And then the other is through uh, uh, Clayton Holdings, which is part of Commerce Bank at 1.39% for three years at actually a semi-annual payment. So you'll see the breakdown in your packet for the semi-annual payments of uh, $35,947.94, two of those uh, per year for $71,895.88, which again is below the $86,250, which we budgeted. So that's kind of it in a nutshell, um, unless you have specific questions about the memos or. Hey, Dan, I, I, I saw that uh, Kirkwood has these and um, is that the plan that we would use the intergovernmental uh, agreement to let them do the repairs or is that a future decision or just you no, take we, it day by day? Uh, we actually had them replace a uh, brake chamber on one of our trucks because it was filled with trash and it couldn't be towed. So they actually came with their mobile unit and replaced it um, on site. So, and they actually purchased a very similar truck through this Elliott. That's how we got the idea was to go through SourceWell because that's how uh, Kirkwood purchases theirs. So they have this very similar truck. It's a Peterbilt. They'd be able to work on this. We could still take it to key equipment or truck centers if we had to, but we basically have that option. Um, the other thing that I mentioned in the memo was that we would keep truck two as a spare just because I did the math and we've so far put in roughly $18,000 since 2019 in new car tippers, uh, brakes, um, fuel uh, pumps, things like that, tires. So it does have value and it actually is, is you know useful. I'd hate to just get rid of it for the 25,000 when we put that much in it. And if it does, you know, if one of the other ones goes down, we have that ability to use this. And then whenever we get rid of truck one, then we would do the trade-in because we'd have two newer ones and one older one. So. Okay. Well, I, it seems, Dan, I mean, kudos on finding a lower cost option and coming in under budget and 
Yep. It seems great to me. So I'll open it up to any questions from anybody else on the committee. I got one. Hey, uh, Dan. Yeah, this, I mean, this is a great purchase. I mean, we're kind of looking at a quarter of a million to 300,000 for one of these things, weren't we? Yeah, yeah, I, I did the math and uh, we had budgeted the 86,250, like I said, times three was almost 260. It's 258,750. So, you know, round math, 260 ish. Is there any still any grant opportunities or is at passing this that just kind of water under the bridge as far as this goes? Yeah, there's none for trucks right now, but we can certainly look when we replace truck number one. You know, that'll be in the near future. Uh, per the budget book I looked at, this morning, you know, we have the street sweeper next year for 2022 and truck one is 2023. But if we're still looking at favorable costs, maybe we'll flip those for the next budget cycle. So you'd have two newer trash trucks. You know, if the sanitation fails, that's a much bigger issue than if the street sweeper doesn't sweep your street one day or one week. You know, right. we don't get flooded with complaints. Yeah. And Bola, does this need to go on the board as a resolution or? A bill yeah. with two readings. Um, it, it will be a resolution. Um, we did one similar for the fire ambulance. Um, right. So Dan has all the information we need. If there's a recommendation, positive recommendation from the Public Works Committee, then Clayton Holdings has indicated that they will start to work on the agreement. So it's just one reading under consent. Yep. And that was a time sensitive nature because that, uh, that financing has to be locked in by the 14th, I believe, of May. Right. Correct. Thanks. So it was just a timing thing. It's great finance. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, any questions? Yeah, I have a, I, two questions, although it, you, you partially answered my, one of my questions. One of my first question was, you know, what do we do with the, the old truck now that we have had it repaired? Um, and I, I, I think your, um, your idea of, of holding it as a spare is is not a bad idea. I also would though would consider, you know, I'm sure they depreciate fairly quickly. So what is the value of trying to sell that vehicle? And would it be would it be better for us to, you know, from a finance standpoint to to sell it um, while it's still while it's been repaired and, and somewhat still valuable rather than letting it sit for two years uh, or a year or whatever. Um, so that would be my first question. The, the, the second question r really comes down to, I mean, I, I assume we, we always break it up um, into budgeting for three years, but I also wonder, um, Bola, this is probably more of a question for you, from a budget standpoint, do we, do we have the money in the budget to, to just pay it, you know, pay it off for one, you know, and, and save another $4,000 in, in interest um, or um, so I'm just curious on the protocol and whether or not, you know, whether we have the money, um, especially given some of the latest um, numbers coming in to just pay it off all at once. Right. So we budgeted not to pay it off right. um, in the initial year and in because the um, leasing, the interest rates are so favorable, right. um, leasing it we thought was a better option. And you know, we Terry Terry Curtin actually brought this idea to us. And what it does is it frees up a lot of money, thereby allowing other departments to get um, favorable consideration for their capital improvement request as well. True. So if we didn't have to pay the entire, the entire for an ambulance that freed up, I don't know, maybe 150, um, possibly 200,000 for to spread amongst other departments so that they could purchase items as well. So at, at this point, we we aren't recommending that we pay it off in, in the initial year. Yeah, money and money's um, certainly cheap with financing like that. So that's that I, I totally agree um, with, with that approach. I just wanted to make sure I understood. Um, Dan, regarding the, the keeping versus selling while it still has the most value, um, the old one, what's your thought on that? Yeah, we could always sell it later in the year if we don't have issues with the other vehicles. You know, we typically list, well, I know we list everything on uh, Gov deals. You know, we sold uh, the two trucks that we were uh, last year for Public Works. We replaced those 
uh, or actually sold those other two old trucks. And then we actually sold the sewer ambulance because we don't use it anymore. So that was just sold. Uh, this would be no different. You could post it. You could put a reserve of X number of dollars of what you want to get for it. And if you don't meet the reserve, you don't have to sell it. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, to that end, I mean, that's a great question, Jeff, because the, the other thing is there's a lot of costs of just those trucks sitting on our lot, not just in depreciation, but the insurance and everything. That was one of the reasons we got rid of the, the trucks that we weren't using the last couple of years. Exactly. Go ahead, Steve. Uh, I was just going to make a motion to forward onto the full board the purchase of a new sanitation truck to be financed by Clayton Holdings. I'll second that. Fantastic. Okay. Any other questions or discussion? Okay. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Fantastic. All right. All right. I think that uh, concludes our new business and uh, citizen comment, I guess, is next. I'm going off memory. Kelly, if there's anybody there? No comment. All right. Look for a motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved. Second. All right. Second. All those in favor? Say aye. 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 Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Kelly, for getting me in. I don't know what happened, but the link said it wasn't, I, I couldn't get in the meeting. So I'm like, what? I don't know. That was right? crazy, but no problem. Thank Glad you, so you were able to participate. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> See ya.